So, like I said, vancomycin, very interesting antibiotic. Um, is used for really big infection, like MRC or VRE. Basically, these are resistance side. And remember, from the infectious control, these usually have a contact precaution. Case um, you, you forgot, just to remind you. Um, is and then it's also used for C diff, C diff infection, and so these are the big and um, uh, infection that you know, vancomycin can be used for, M MRSA, MRSA, and a VRE and a C diff. Those are very very important. Why do your board like this? It's because of the side effect of vancomycin. Um, it affects the kidney. So he has a nephrotoxicity. Okay, so he has a nephrotoxicity. Um, and he also affects your urine, autotoxicity. This is irreversible. So if you hear patients start having phenonitis, then you got to worry about it. That's the early signs of that. Uh, so, is it, or maybe vertigo, you, you got to pay attention and then take care of it because it's irreversible and then you can reverse it. Very, very important. Um, and therefore, based on that, when you patient is on this medication, you check the hearing, and then you to make sure you check their creatinine, kidney function, to make sure the creatinine and BUN are all normal. So that's the idea. Because of that, we got to monitor this strictly, and he has very narrow therapeutic, um, you know, the therapeutic range. Okay, so very very narrow. Okay. And that, that is um, usually between 10 and to 20. So 10 to 20. So we got to check it often in order to make sure that we don't go in past it. Okay. Um, and then you draw the trust before you give any administration. And this apply to every medication that has very narrow therapeutic range. Draw the trough before you give any infusion. And those are the key facts you have to know, um, but they're going to bore you with side effects and other things. This medication is a visitant, okay? That's another key fact. Therefore, there's a risk of extravasation. Um, we always want to you know, give it through um, central venous line for every medication that is a visitant. That is preferred, but most of the time we go through peripheral line. So therefore, you got to watch your patient Watch your patient. If they're getting the IV through the peripheral line because uh, the medication is a visitant. The infusion rate is very important, okay? How fast you infuse it. The infusion rate is very important. If you infuse it too fast, patient will tell you that uh, you're infusing it too fast because they start having symptoms. The idea is to infuse it over 60 minutes, okay? 60 minutes infusion. So 60 minutes, um, 60 minutes for every uh, 10 grams. So 10 grams an hour. So if they, they give you the dose and it's like 10 grams of vancomycin, then you gotta infuse it over an hour. If you go too fast, the patient develop what we call red man syndrome. And then it's very, very important. I will talk about it. This is not, this is not an athletic, okay? They always will ask you red man syndrome. It's not, this is not an athletic. It's not an athletic shock, okay? So you got to be like very, very careful. 
So it's not. It's just because the infusion is going too fast. Therefore, you slow down, slow down the rate. Don't go too fast. And then that's the whole idea. Okay. And so you you go you infuse it ten ml um cc every hour, and that's the normal infusion rate. If you go faster, patient develop red man syndrome. Um, because it's a vesicle, and like I said, it causes extravation, extravasation. So you got to be careful when the patient is on it. It also causes hypersensitivity, so allergic reaction. Okay, so hyper. Sensitivity. That's the allergic reaction that it causes. So you got to be careful. You check in, and that is what is the red man syndrome. Red man syndrome is just a hypersensitivity. It's no true allergic reaction. Okay, if the patient develop um what we call pro, uh, they, they start having rash. Okay, we have rash. We have wheezing hypotension, okay, laryngeal edema. Airway issue, then this is what we call anaphylactic shock. That's different from L. Redman syndrome, which I will talk about it. It's just a rash in your body. There's no any of these signs. So you shouldn't confuse the two together. So if, because uh, the medication is a visicant, it can extravate, uh, extravasation is common. Um, usually you observe the IV site every 30 minutes to make sure this doesn't happen. Okay, like I said, central venous line is preferred than um, peripheral, but if you don't have peripheral line, you can give it through central venous, uh, peripheral line. If you don't have, Central line, you can give it through peripheral line. So, what is the 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 red man syndrome? Um, I'm talking about so the red man syndrome, and in this happy when you infuse the vancomycin um, too fast, too fast. So, like, and more than ten milligram every hour. So, if I give you like fifty milligram of vancomycin, that means you should infuse it, what, at least, at least five hours. Because um, each gram will undergo, uh, will, will be infused over an hour. So five hours is this. If you infuse it faster, patient get red man syndrome. And how do they look? How do they look like? Well, they're red. So, um, the flush is because of vasodilation, flushing of their face. Um, the whole face look like red, okay? Um, and it's start from the neck, from the face to the neck and the chest. Okay, so that's what happens to them. It's just red everywhere, okay? There is no airway issue, okay? They may have muscle pain or spasm, but there's no um, airway issue at all. The, the blood pressure is fine, and this is not allergic reaction. It's just hypersensitivity, okay? You have to infuse the uh, vacuumizing uh, very slowly, okay? If you, see, if you see wheezing and everything, and lip sw swelling and everything, airway issue, it becomes anaphylactic shock and that is the and if that is the patient develop anaphylactic shock what is the treatment where is it here so if i develop anaphylactic shock here what will you give me well you give the patient um epi epinephra okay i am epi as soon as possible um to, and then stop the medication immediately you stop it first then you um, give the patient uh, epinephrine to prevent the allergic reaction. It may need the airway to be um, protected. And as you can see, this is like straightforward um, information, vancomycin, all the facts that you need to know about vancomycin. 
um, basically straightforward, very good medication that a lot of side effect profile and things you know they can ask you. They can ask you about the kidney. So I can set the select or that applied question about the kidney, hearing, about the therapeutic range, about vancomycin is a, a visicant. So you got to be careful. And this is all you need to know. If they give it to you, um, C. diff, usually it's given to like enema. So for C. diff, it's an enema, enema form, okay? Enema for the um, C. diff. And it's just for very important infection. Don't confuse Redman syndrome with the uh, allergic reaction. One is hypersensitivity, one is a true allergy. And that is all you need to know about this drug. Very important drug, it's a, and it's a board favorite. And thank you for listening, and uh, keep charging, as always.